Oh, we are learning some new information in a boating accident that claimed the lives of two fishermen in Gloucester. Now, the bodies of 31-year-old Tony West and 47-year-old Philip Brown were found this weekend after they did not return home on Friday. Then to your side's Brandy Cummings spoke to grieving family members. There are still many questions about what happened and what ultimately led to two experienced watermen to lose their lives on the water. The answers for their families can't come soon enough. Like all I do is think about like is he what he thought about was he you know like was he in pain when he was drowning what what like what do you feel like what was he thinking about did he have a struggle questions crystal west may never get answers to although grieving the loss of her fiance she wanted to talk about him Phil was excellent in the river. West says her fiance, 47 year old Philip Brown, and her cousin, 31 year old Tony West, went into the water to do some work Friday night. Then hours passed, and she hadn't heard from the experienced waterman. And I kept calling him and calling him, and the phone rang. It kept ringing. And I probably did it for like 30 minutes, and usually he always answers. But Wes says she didn't think anything was wrong because Brown had been out working long hours before. It wasn't until a relative alerted her that she knew something happened. Officials say the call came in on Saturday morning about two missing fishermen near the Perrin River in Gloucester County. Pictures sent to 10 on your side shows the search. Crews found the sunken boat in the Swash Channel. They found Brown that afternoon tangled in a gill net. Family members gave 10 on your side permission to take this picture of that net. Officials say Tony West was found Sunday afternoon. Tony was um, was a little guy, but with the heart of a giant. He was always joking, always kidding around. We would not expect this. This has shocked me. Like right now, I'm still talking about it. I like. It's just so shocking. And what makes this tragedy even much more sad is that according to the family members, neither of the men had life insurance, so they are now trying to get enough money to bury them. If you want to help, we've put information on our website, wavy.com. Just look for this story. In Gloucester County, I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.